For over a thousand years, the ancient city of Venice, Italy, has been trying to keep flood waters at bay. Just this week, Venice was flooded when tides surged higher than officials expected. But now a recently completed barrier system has been activated. CBS News foreign correspondent Chris Livesay is in Venice with more. Now, normally during high tide in Venice, I can have water up to my knees, but take a look around. St. Mark's Square is dry, and it's all thanks to a flood prevention system, one that cost six and a half billion euros, and it's proving successful. It's far from perfect, but it could be this city's best chance at survival. Dickens once said you'd shed tears to see Venice, but overnight, as four feet of tidal seawater try to engulf the city, it's these 78 retractable dikes that could almost make you weep, says chief engineer Francesco Olsola. It's a, a very emotional. It's called Mose, Italian for Moses, and just like in the Old Testament, it's parting the sea, keeping the Adriatic from swallowing its crown jewel. For centuries, it was water that protected Venice from invaders until it became the invader itself. Now, these floodgates are the only thing standing between the exquisite and extinction. Last year, climate change and high tides triggered the worst flooding in more than 50 years, a catastrophe in a city whose lifeblood is its beauty, a catastrophe this time averted. Without Mose, uh, every day, more or less, every day is flooded. Technically, it's still a work in progress, says Venice Mayor Luigi Brugnaro. Like a suit of armor, yet with chinks. It takes an excruciating 48 hours to activate. Not enough warning to thwart a flash flood earlier this week, swamping St. Mark's Basilica and workshops like Paolo Brandolizio's, where he's been carving gondola orlocks for 26 years. It doesn't take much, does it, for water to come in here? No, no, we No, it's just a few inches away, he says, right at the doorstep, just like the global climate crisis, says environmental scientist Jane DeMosto. Venice, I think, is the canary in the mine for other places that need to make very radical choices about how to survive in the future. And for now, Venice's radical choice is working, and climate scientists are saying cities in the U.S., specifically those on the coast, should pay close attention. Places like Los Angeles, Boston, and Miami that could be seeing their own severe flooding in the coming decades. Vlad and Marie. All right, Chris Livesay, thank you very much.